Is it really? Oh! <laughs> what's up guys welcome back Devin and I are cruising through Salina and we are going to try and hit up a pond behind Dion Sanders old mansion I think this could be pretty cool I don't know if it's like gated or not and uh, we looked up a couple ponds in the area we're gonna hit a smaller one first so I think we can link up on some fish and then we're gonna head over to his spot and see if there's some giants in there it's a big pond it's a big body of water doesn't look like too much structure so we are uh, just cruising on this beautiful California Ferrari California and the Mustang GT having a little too much fun on quarantine Saturday the 18th 335 in the afternoon and we are ready to rip some lips, you guys. We got some big swim baits with us. We got some uh, small swim baits with us. <laughs> We've been throwing a lot of those lately. Texas rig, GoPros, you know, we got the whole nine, man. We're gonna be here in just a minute and then we'll go ahead and get to fishing. We're here. Doesn't look like much, does it? I don't know. It's deceiving. I saw a lot of decent catches on fish brain app out of here, so we're about to see. They were fat. Last thing before we get to fishing, guys, we want to thank our sponsor, Catchco, for taking care of us on today's video. They've been longtime supporters of the channel. We cannot thank them enough for that. They supply the line that is on our reels, on the majority of them. Collaboration with Guggen Squad on those, and then as well as a lot of the baits we're going to be throwing today is going to be Catchco collaborations, as well as some of their own unique baits. Also, guys, the shades we're rocking. These are Catchco collaboration glasses, and we were able to see a lot of bass on beds this uh, spawn season thanks to these shades right here. So you guys have got to check them out. We'll leave all their information down in the description, but let's go ahead and get to fishing, you guys. I'm gonna see if maybe there's any bass up shallow. I haven't ever fished this place before, obviously. Kind of went over that. But uh, I wonder if there's anything on beds that want to defend them when they see a bluegill swim right past it. I have got that Z-Man chatterbait, that's the jackhammer, and we've got one of those Game Changer Eliminators, which is a Ketchco um, bait. It looks like a good bottom for a jig. I've already made it halfway across this pond. All right, guys, here's what we pulled out of the Red Gills bag next. Three quarter rounds. I'm just going to go casting out deep peanut butter and jelly, but this craw is torn up from the last time I threw it and I uh, caught a big bass. 10,000 fish, a Ketchco brand here. So we're going to get this saw craw out, and it's uh, just a nice looking peanut butter and jelly combination. Christian is joining us, and look at this chatterbait. Do you know the brand? Uh, it's called an Earthquake. Earth? Quake or earth? Yeah, it, it, earthquake. It said it, like the blade. Dude, how vibrates, cool! Obviously, but as does the whole bait. That's crazy. The whole bait does like an erratic side to side action as you're reeling it in. I'm all about it, dude. So he's got this uh, crazy custom looking chatter bait. He's gonna throw shad color. So we're rocking all kinds of different colors. See who can't get on the first fish, dude. I, I chopped off one section of the saw craw. I've got it here on the package, which I'm not going to leave out. And I think what I'm gonna do is trim the skirt just a little bit to where these claws have more free range of motion. You can see it protrudes a little bit. So here's what I'm gonna do. Turn that frown upside down. This is probably less common than just using the entire craw on a big jig like this. When you're trying to throw a big presentation, you might as well just go all out. I'm just gonna do something a little bit different and kind of show you like how to trim the skirts of your um, jigs if you, if you need to. So I need to take a little over a quarter inch off of this thing. I think Devin has a pair of the clippers with that are, that are longer, but let's just go ahead. We're gonna trim, trim, trim. Normally this would take less time, but I'm using our cutters that have the smaller size. Um, anyways, that should be good. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, I really like that. See, now that gives those claws more range of motion, but the skirt is still uh, plump enough to get the job done. So this is a, a dangerous duo. Look at that. Whoo! And in the water, these claws are going to be sitting up like this, looking like the craws in attack mode, just kind of fluttering in the water. It's going to be good. Rigged and ready, man. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to switch to a drop shot here in a second. Drop shot all the way, I bet. We've been here for a hot minute, throwing all kinds of stuff at them. But we ain't quitter, so we're going to try and grab these things. We are testing out the new larger size Dragon Drops. That's what I'm talking about. If there's potential for some big fish, we would like to throw a larger worm, get that in their face. That is what we are going to do. 
we're just gonna go with that same one knot stickies worm hook not <laughs> wacky rig and drop shot hook you guys all right and a quarter ounce weight not even the drop shot could get it done we have all switched lures multiple times so we're gonna head down the street we have spotted one uh, i'm trying to turn my back to the wind for the gopro audio which we all know is the greatest of all time and we're gonna head to a golf course pond i just found on google maps before hitting dion's place all right y'all we just pulled up this one looks a little bit further of a trek from the parking spot so we're just grabbing all the combos got the backpack devin's got the goodies right there and uh christian's rocking with a bunch of gear as well Spot we've never hit, man. The pond looks super juicy, though. Wait till you see this in just a second. A bunch of bait. Look at that. Yo. Yeah, bait jumping in the shallows, you guys. This pond looks so good. Looks froggy. Looks narrow, too. We can cover this quick. Is that a... It must be a turtle. This is, like, crystal clear. We might have to break out the swim baits here. Oh, I see two. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Get it. Get it. Go. He's going for it. Oh, he went for it. He's going to eat it. One of them is. Yep. He ate it. That's the better one. That's the better one. Oh, yep. That's the big dragon drop right there, boys. Sight casted. Look at the pattern on this guy, too. Beautiful fish. Looks like post spawn. Little skinny, but I'm pretty sure this was the bigger one. Oh, the bigger dragon drop came through. I think we lost it. That was oh, yeah. so sick. So sick. They were both looking at it. They're about to charge for it. I knew it was going to happen. How crazy is that? And Christian's already had a blow up. Well, guys, we're liking this pond so far. All right, guys, that did not take long at all. Check this guy out right here on the brand new SLX XT Powell Endurance Rods. Quarter ounce weight on there. <sighs> Getting the job done. I cannot wait to go cast by these rocks next. Let's see if there's anything bigger in here. Solid first fish of the vlog. Dude, Christian just got one on the frog. Yo, new drag and drop, baby. Bigger size, bigger fish. Ayo. <laughs> Dang. We got the double up. First one. Let's go. <laughs> First fish in all that gunk. Yeah. Oh no. Uh yeah, three so far. Three? Yes, sir. Big? Uh nothing big. big. First one was a little over two pounds. Um, but they're they're everywhere, man. They're hitting. Yeah. Frog, drag uh, drop shot. Thank you. Something's on its way over. He's got it. There we go. All right, second one of the day, little guy as well. Looks like another buck and three quarters, I'd say. Man, we saw you coming over for it too, buddy. Fierce, these things. Get him back in the water. Grab another, man. We're on a roll now. Pond is filled with them. Big bass coming over. Here we go. He's going for it. About to get bit. Yep. You ready, guys? This fish wants to eat it. Grab it, kid. Dude, he's nosed up to it. Right in front of his face. Right in front of his face. What? All right, guys, it's time. Let's throw something in here these fish have never seen before. We'll come eat it then. They want it. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. Dude. They just hit this like five times. They literally just smashed this. Damn. I gotta hit him from another angle. He ate it. He ate it. He bit it. That was insane. Christian just got a beast on the frog. Raking them up. Where's your GoPro? <laughs> Dude. Christian with another one on the frog. He's putting us to shame, but I really want to get one on this swim bait. Got one going after it. Dang it, man, I see all these bass. They're just outsmarting this swim bait. Hey, there's a decent sized one right off there. There's one on a bed right here, and there's one right here. They're everywhere. Gotcha. 
There we go. On the citizen. Yes. Land to the first bass. First bass on the tranks, baby. <laughs> oh man, that's insane. Okay. Worked it along the bank. He came up and hit it. I didn't set the hook until I felt the weight like really on there. Heck yes, man. That's a little fish for a big bait, but we knew it was going to happen. First catch on the citizen and rolled speckle. All right, let's get this thing back in the water. That was cool, man. Finally, I knew it was going to be a little bass. There's just nothing of size in this place. Probably the biggest one was that first one I caught on the drop shot. Get him back in here. Doop. Pretty crazy, dude. Leave it, leave it. He's going for it. <laughs> she got him. Get out of the grass. Oh god. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't know where I was casting. I didn't know that's where a fish was. Well, obviously, but finally my first fish down here. <laughs> On that grass hero swim jig. He outsmarted the swim bait, but Devin cast over here and got him off the bank. That's what's up. First fish out of this little juicy honey hole for me. That came on that Grass Hero swim jig with the Saucy Swimmer. It's definitely more of a lighter color. Uh, these bass in here are still on beds and they're feeding on these bluegills, so that was perfect. But if you're in areas where they're feeding on more of shad color, this is gonna be the go-to for you. I've got that white shad color Grass Hero with those pearl white saucy swimmers 3.3 inch exactly what we have just a different color combination so let me get this boy unhooked that was definitely a little help from weston on that catch he could see that fish go up to it and nose up to my swim jig uh, on that other side as i casted so i was just like all right wait 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 oh i feel it let's go Well, just started raining out of nowhere. I thought it was a beautiful day, <laughs> but uh, now we got a little light sprinkle to help uh, hide us from the bass since this water's so clear. Maybe it's a good thing. Catching them on everything today, guys. Drop shot, swim jig, frog, uh, swim jig. I mean, just crushing it. So much fun. Christian is yet again linking up with another frog fish. That guy choked it. Oh, crazy dark. Dark, they're living in this grass for sure. That's why it's so easy to get them to come out with the frog. All right, let's hit this grass line. We haven't hit this yet. Guys, I see one as I'm casting the swim bait. I am just going to scoop him up real quick on the bandito bug. There was one hanging out underneath this rock over here. Yeah, there's been a few on them. They're just hanging out, man. That side, along that wall, right in the pocket. Oh. Got him. Woo! That's a little sunfish. That ain't even a bass. That's funny. Unexpected catch of the day. Let's get him back. Man, we still gotta hit the mansion pond. No. <laughs> Have you seen people get kicked out? No way. We just got the intel. <laughs> Hole. Trying to get a thumbnail and there goes that snake down there. Oh, there's a snake right there too. A lot of snakes in this place. Check him out. Oh, he's hiding now. I think we're about to head over to the uh, Dion Mansion, man. We have really worn this one out. Whoop! That was crazy. I didn't try to, dude. No, that, that was... Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Golf ball just missed me. It ricocheted off the rock. Gotcha. These guys are, uh, you can see them just cruising up in the shallows. And I was like, well, screw it. Maybe he'll go after it. And uh, cast it right in there. And it took two seconds. Easy now. And uh, went after it. No, you're good. I was watching out for it. I'm looking and I'm thinking, she's going to hit the rock. Is the girl out fishing you guys? She is right now. 
<laughs> She's smoking us. Uh. Second fish, different bait, drag and drop. Man, these fish just are eating anything. Christian's been using the frog the entire time, I want to say. Weston's been changing up. Back in the water. Look at the little tank. Ugh. That's exciting. First sight fish for me. As soon as Weston, we got here, Weston caught that first one. But I mean, I had that one whenever I punched through that Texas rig. Oh, but they've been just kind of cruising all along the edge of it. All right, y'all. Absolute slave fest, but... We got bigger ponds to fry or fish. Anyways, we're gonna try and hit up Deion Sanders' old mansion's pond. I think it's public, I'm not sure, but uh, we're gonna find out. Good, how are you? Good. What's up, bro? I used to ballet with you. Yeah! <laughs> I hate to kick y'all out of here, man. Oh, we, were it's all, we were on. <laughs> we just hit up that <laughs> hole in the spot over here. Yeah, what's good? Hey, thank you. Thank you. Well, that was uh, an elegant way of getting kicked out by somebody I used to work with. And also trying to edit this picture of uh, this actually catches fish here. Please what a spot, dudes. Okay, so this is gated, but we just saw a guy in the bank. He was throwing a crawl, Texas rigged it. So we're going to pull up, hopefully maybe by the mansion so you guys can get a glimpse of it. And then we're going to go in there and try and slay, man. I'm going to throw just the swim bait, I think, try and get a hop. I'm hopping on the weather app, and it looks like there's a 50% chance of rain here in just a minute. And it's going to drop in temperature right there. So we might just be finna go on a prefrontal bite right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, nope, that's the gates to his mansion. Look at that hawk. <laughs> yeah, hawk. and there's a giant, is that a real hawk? Yeah. What? God. That's what I'm talking about. The houses in here are awfully nice. All right, guys, it's been an amazing day of fishing and we're here that there's big fish in here. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna travel light. We're gonna leave the big camera here, probably just take the scale, pliers, essentials, and a lighter bag. And maybe Devin and I are just gonna go out with the swim baits and try and get that big hit. Let's have some fun. We are about to get on them. Oh God, that's a big ass frog. Whoa, dude, that thing was next level. Some thunder and check out his old place, man. Holy smokes. Devin says she's pretty sure it's got like a bowling alley in it and everything. This place is just huge, man. Nuts, I'm gonna try and fish off this dock for a second. Let's get it. Dude, this is insane. You need to see this. It's like five foot depth, just insanely clear, not as much grass. This is ridiculous. Well, this might've put a damper on our plans. I'm gonna walk the bank quick. Oh, that might be our cue. It is getting a little saucy. Yeah. Here. <laughs> well, that settles that. Uh, <laughs> I think that might end today's video, you guys. We want to thank Catchco for sponsoring today's video. We were able to see through that crystal clear water that we cannot wait to come back and hit. And uh, getting to see that mansion, even from just like the backyard was insane. Um, look, you can kind of catch just a glimpse of it beyond the, uh, insane gate and tree line here super cool man we gotta come back and fish it till the next one you guys peace out